intro. This is not your standard monopod. Welcome back, I am Mauro and today we have here the Moza Slypod, the first two-in-one slider and monopod. Yes, you heard me right, a slider incorporated in a monopod with a great wooden handle. By the way, new background. Actually, my kitchen makes a really great setup for showing up this kind of products. Over the past couple of weeks, I tested fully the Moza Slypod and all its functions, and I am ready to make a review about it. When talking about sliders, they have always a dedicated form factor and they are only meant to do one thing, slide. This is actually something different, because you can use it as a monopod and do vertical slides in no time. The Moza Slypod can be also used as an extension pole or actually use it with a Moza Air 2 and make pen, tilt and slide moves all in one. Well, let's get into some specs. The Moza Slypod body is made of carbon fiber and it weighs only 750 grams. It has an ultra power gear density motor producing 1 Nm of torque, enough to drive up a payload up to 9 kilos for vertical movements and 4 kilos for horizontal movements. On the bottom handle, you will find the main controls the power button, plus for stretching the tube and minus for retracting the tube. On the side there is the USB-C charging port where you can actually charge on the go while using the slide port. The rated charging time is 90 minutes and the operating time with one charge is up to 2 hours. On the bottom part of the slide port you have a one quarter male mount that winds on the wooden handle. By the way, nice touch! You get also a tripod stand and it looks like the same one from the Moza Air 2. On the top part of the slypod you have the horizontal mounting attachment, with a one quarter screw mount or a 3.8 mounting option. On the top you will find the quick release head. It's not a ball head, but it's a more firm variant for heavyweight payloads with Arca Swiss mounting plate. You get also a fixed mounting option if you want to mount your Moza Air 2 or Moza Air Cross 2 on your slypod. By the way, this is a pre-production unit, so a minor changes to the final product could occur. The Moza Slypod has gaskets all over the place, so it will be weatherproofed. Let's get back to the control functions. You can control and program the basic functions via the dedicated plus and minus. You can actually have 10 speed variants for the slider, for an ultra low control speed to a highly fast slide. The fun side is that you can control your Moza Slypod with your dedicated Moza Master app, just like your Moza Air 2. There is a remote control option with the dedicated slider tab with the speed setting adjustments from 0 to 100 for your really slow time lapse move. There is a creative video option to program multiple slider in and out points, adding pet movements that will ease your way of control motion in a dedicated time. I will talk about the Moza Master app and how to use it with the Slypod more deeply in a new dedicated video, so stay tuned. You can also change the ring light in one of the dedicated colors, check the device info, upgrade it over the air and calibrate it. 
as shown in the teaser of the Moza Slypod, it will be also compatible with the Moza Air Cross 2 system for some really awesome tilt pan slider shots. Here are some test shots made with the Slypod the last couple of weeks. This product could really change your way of thinking and use it in ways that before you would need a bigger and cumbersome setup nowhere near compact as this. I noticed when using it in higher speed, the motor inside can be picked up by the microphone. It's not meant to use with a full power up or down, because the full stretch is over in less than 12 seconds. You want a more slow and smooth glide. I'm sure that the final version will get this sorted out. As I'm waiting for the final release of the Moza Slypod, you can expect another video this week on how to use it creatively in your production. What do you think guys? Is it something that you would add on your next gear list for your next project? Comment section down below. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one. What do you think? Is it a great background? Well, maybe I keep it like this.